Hello and welcome back. Hello and welcome back. We were reading about the XYZ affair, which was a scandalous diplomatic event, which occurred during 1797 all the way until 1798. So the XYZ affair was a diplomatic incident between the French and the United States diplomats that resulted in a limited undeclared war known as the Quasi War. In the late 1700s, the French revolutionary government had problems financing or paying for its European wars. Many leaders were also angry about the Jay Treaty. If you want to read more about the Jay Treaty, you may click on this little link right there while you're reading and it'll take you right to a great source. Consequently, in 1796, French leaders decided to, uh, decided to order the seizure or the taking of American merchant ships. President John Adams sent three United States envoys to restore harmony and peace between the United States and France. The three uh, men were known as Elbridge Gerry. He's one of the men who did not sign the Constitution. Charles Coteworth, Pickney, and John Marshall, one of the Supreme Court justices that really heavily influenced later on uh, American early, early policy. Uh, he was very much Federalist. Upon arriving in France, they found that they were not allowed to meet with a foreign minister, the Marquis de Talleyrand. The United States envoys instead met with intermediaries, Jean Hodiger, X, Pierre Bellamy, Y, and Lucien Hotvol, Z. These French intermediaries stated that Talleyrand would meet with the Americans and come to an agreement if several conditions were to be satisfied. The French demanded that the United States give France a low entrance loan, lots of money, money, pay French merchants what the U.S. merchants owed them, and pay a large bribe to Talleyrand. And the U.S. envoys were very shocked about this. Being bullied by the French. You want to get bullied by the French? No. Talleyrand's strategy was to delay. He did intend to help, but first wanted to increase his own personal wealth. Money, money, money strengthen his own political power, and make sure that he would deal only with Elbridge Gerry, who was a little bit more friendly to the French. However, as the French won European military victories, the French worsened the loan terms and threatened an invasion of the U.S. if the envoys did not give in. The U.S. envoys refused to give in, so Talleyrand eventually met with them, but he did not end the seizure of American ships, which was the whole point that they had been sent there for. In the meantime, the envoy's letters reached the United States president, John Adams, who prepared for war, and pro-war Federalists pushed Congress to support him. Leaders of the Democratic-Republican Party, led by Thomas Jefferson, were suspicious of John Adams' motives and demanded that he publicly release the diplomatic correspondence describing the negotiations in France. Adams knew what was in these correspondences, released the correspondences, but he replaced the names of the French intermediaries. Uh, that would be Hodiger, Bellamy, and Hotzeville. Uh, he replaced their names with X, Y, and Z. That's why it's known as the XYZ affair. John Adams continued to prepare for war. Halloran realized his mistake. Oh, snap, things be getting serious up in here and he attempted to restore relations. I'm sorry I tried to bribe you entire enemy country. Can you please get back on my good side? In the meantime, the U.S. Navy began to fight the French in the Caribbean. In, the 17, in 1799, Congress also passed the Logan Act in response to the pacifist Quaker George Logan, who negotiated with Talleyrand as a private citizen. This regular dude walked over and said, hey, bro, how about I meet with you and we all do business? But yeah, I don't represent the government. I'm just this dude who happens to be a Quaker. So talk to me. Maybe they'll listen. I don't know. Uh, peace negotiations proceeded in France. Talleyrand, who remained as foreign minister, wanted to prevent her further hostility with the U.S. President John Adams also wanted to avoid a war, confident that France, if France wanted war, it would have already responded. Dude, if you wanted to fight, you already would have fought. So I already know that you're not going to do this, John Adams' thoughts. Talleyrand eventually let it be known that it, he would accept a new American envoy. And Adams sent representatives to France despite American disappointment. <coughs> oh, 
oh, somebody's talking about Alexander Hamilton there, that there would be no war. It would be nearly a century and a half before the United States entered into another formal alliance with France after this. This made people mad. So hopefully you're enjoying this and hopefully this has been helpful.